हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन दिस साइड हिमांशु ठाकुर एंड आई एम फाइनल ईयर कंप्यूटर साइंस स्टूडेंट सो रिसेंटली आई हैव गोन थ्रू द सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस कंडक्टेड बाय वटूसा इन आवर कॉलेज कैंपस सो हेयर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम हेयर टू शेयर सम ऑफ माय एक्सपीरियंसेस दैट आई हैव बीन एक्सपीरियंसड इन द ऑन कैंपस सिलेक्शन कंडक्टेड बाय वटूसा सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शेयर सम ऑफ द नॉर्मल एंड पावर कोडिंग क्वेश्चन अलॉन्ग विथ देयर एंसर एंड step by step education how they are working so basically this video will be helpful for the student who are preparing for the um, who are in the final year and preparing for the uh, online or uh, on campus or off campus placement so uh, first thing you should know which type of questions they are asking so basically all the questions are based on the uh, string sub string and array concepts only so um, here are the some of the questions that i am sharing with you uh, these questions were asked during our online online assessment conducted by vatusa so here is the first question so um, everyone has gone through the uh, pattern questions in their uh, programming journey so here is a pyramid pattern question first one they asked that pyramid pattern questions and also we have to calculate the sum of the pyramid so they asked means uh, we have to create this type of pyramid so they has to create this type of pyramid and also we have to calculate the sum sum of the pyramid means here is the 1 here is 5 here is 11 total sum is 17 they asked me to um, calculate uh, they asked me to create this type of pyramid also calculate the sum of pyramid so um, now we will move to the coding part of this program how to solve it also we will see how step by step execution so here is the programming here is the programming code here is the code that will create a pyramid like a structure and also calculate the sum of the pyramid so i am quickly running the program and also first it will ask me to enter enter number of rows how many rows we want so i am okay so row number 3 here you can see in this pattern is created the pyramid pattern is created also sum is calculated that is 17 so now move to the how the step by step process execution is executed so moving to the next slide here we will see how the process is going on so uh, first we have uh, we have imported as a scanner class why means um, we need to um, take a user uh, user input from the user so i have taken a um, i have imported a scanner class now this is the public class our class main class and this is pyramid same class name okay and this is the main method uh, we know that every java program should start with the main method so we have created a main method now uh, i have imported the scanner class and we have create a sc object for the scanner class and here is the message i displayed uh, that is saying that enter number of rows means how many rows we want so in our case we have to create this pattern in our case we have to create this pattern means how many rows we have one rows two rows and three rows so in our case enter number of rows rows will be three rows will be 3 okay now how many number of columns i we have here is one column here is two column 3 4 and 5 number of column we have that is 5 okay so this we have to create we have to form this type of pyramid also we have to calculate the sum now i have uh, taken a variable name row for to store the number of rows and i have initiated the data type of integer data type now i, I have to uh, count the total sum so i have uh, taken an integer type data type and also created a variable total sum and initialized with zero now this is okay one minute now this is our outer loop this is our outer loop this is our outer loop so out what does outer loop do means outer loop will create a number of rows it will manage uh, our outer loop will manage and uh, manage the number of rows so this is our this is our first inner loop so this is our first inner loop this is our first inner loop this is our second inner loop and this is our third inner loop now we will uh, see uh, one by one how the loop will work so first moving to the outer loop outer loop what will do means it will manage the number of rows so how many rows we want number of rows 
so this outer loop will manage three rows okay what will this first inner loop do means it will create the space space uh, before the numbers uh, uh, to form a pyramid means how many uh, uh, row and column we have one two three four five means it will uh, the first inner loop will create five spaces first then five spaces before the number will print so it will do this thing to form a uh, pyramid now the second inner loop the second the second inner loop will run uh, from the i to 1 in the decreasing order and also calculate the sum total sum equal to j now the third inner loop third inner loop will run from 2 to i means how many rows we want it will run and also it will calculate the total sum so after the calculation of all the coding that execution after the ex execution of step by step execution of all the codes the, uh, it will create this type of pattern so um, uh, i hope you got the things and if you don't understand anything you co you can comment below and i will definitely i will try to solve um, your doubt thank you for the video and the next video i will come with the, uh, another questions that were asked in the, our online assessment so see you in the next video